Okay guys, so when I go to execute the command boot rig slash fix boot, I get the error message access is denied. If you guys are getting the similar kind of error, follow the steps in this tutorial to fix the issue. I hope it helped. Okay guys, this is how it looks. Now you're gonna type uh, dix part. Get inside dix part. After that you're gonna list volume. So number of volume over here. It's a listed. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna select one. So you're gonna select the dix with a system reserve partition. So in my case, this is a M drive. It's a system reserve, so volume seven. So you might not see like this. In your case, letter might not be assigned. Uh, it might be labeled over here, system reserve. For some of you guys, system reserve might be labeled over here. So easy to select and find, find and select. If a system reserve is not mentioned, you have to randomly uh, guess and select it. Uh, in my case is a M drive you can see 802 MB it must be the system reserve partition and in my case it is not labeled so I have to guess it and in some case uh, it might not be labeled currently it is labeled over here M so in your case it might not be labeled so you don't worry you can label it if it is not labeled what you guys gonna do it you're gonna type a simple commands to level it. At first, you're gonna select uh, the volume. You might be different from the seven, so you're gonna select volume seven. Now you can see volume seven is the selected volume. Now what you're gonna do is assign later. Assign later. equals okay assign letter equals I okay I'll assign different from EM so let's say I'll assign K call in and press enter key so successfully assign the drive letter now we are done so it will change from uh, M to K now so it is just a demonstration if it is uh, already labeled you do not have to label it now let me exit it so make a note of it your might be different from this one now we'll get inside uh, we have labeled it uh, as k so we'll get inside k drive so it needs to have a efi directory so makes if it is a system reserve partition uh, if it is not labeled over here on the top and if you have selected uh, randomly by guessing make sure it has a system reserve partition uh, sorry make sure it is a system reserve volume if it is not a system reserve how do you confirm that it needs to have a efi file so how to check that so after getting inside k drive plus tr you can see i have a efi file so if you do not have a efi repeat the same steps select some other volumes assign the letter and get inside it and make sure you have selected the right volume system reserve volume now what are you going to do you're going to type the simple command cmd slash efi okay I did a mistake so here you have it's md efi microsoft slash boot slash so you need to use the backward slash press enter key so subdirectory files of efi boot already exist so not a problem cd slash efi microsoft boot press enter key now we can see we are inside boot folder now you're gonna do you're gonna type the commands so boot rec space slash fix boot press enter key the operation completed successfully now it's a b c d boot press enter sorry together b c d boot press enter key so we'll try this commands instead of first command see if it is is the control v instead of c will be using g as we have seen that i have my operating system in a g drive currently it is labeled as g and in place of h 
currently we are using the K drive. So we have leveled K for the system reserve partitions. And press enter key. Okay, boot file successfully created. So this is what we want. Now it has successfully created the boot files. Now what we do is E X I T exit press enter key. We'll go to troubleshoot. It's a command prompt. Now we are inside the X source. It's a boot rack. We wrote a boot rack space slash f i x fix boot. Press enter. Now the operation completed successfully. So we are getting access denied error for this. Now operation completed successfully. So this is a simple uh, procedure. So a couple of steps you could follow to fix this issue for access denied error. So you need a bootable USB flash drive. So boot your PC from a bootable USB flash drive. If you do not know to create one, visit the channel and go through the video how do you create a bootable USB flash drive. And then after you will click on repair your computer. You will come up with this screen, you will click on troubleshoot and then you will choose command prompt. Okay guys, here you will type a command boot rec slash fix boot and when you press the enter key, you will see operation completed successfully.